What's up guys, um, today I'm coming at you with Realm of Demonology, it's a wad designed by Demonologist, and um, I'm going to be doing level 6, since that's a slaughter one, and I do the slaughter levels first and then the smaller levels last. I'm sure Demonologist is going to love this one. Okay, 1915 monsters and the level is called Despair. Okay. Alright, so we got everything we need. Ah! That's okay. I, I think I'll be fine. Just careful not to take too many hits there. I mean, I know there's a soul sphere over there. I mean, you don't see it, but you will when I get to that secret, so... It's, it's close by. How dare you hit me. I'm just gonna let the infight do the job. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my ammunition. No way, dude. There's only one secret on this map, so... Maybe someday demonologists will try and play my maps. Love to see that happen. Especially the gigantic slaughter maps I've made that took me like five or six hours to beat. And I'm going to be making more of those, so... Just to let you guys know, because I think I'm starting to like to make, like, ridiculously long maps. Like, you know, six to eight hour slaughter maps, even though know, I haven't made one that's in that range yet, but I've made one that's like five or six hours long. I'm just gonna use my rockets. Oh no, I'm stepping in a puddle of blood. This is not good. Now my feet are dirty. Oh, by the way, I turn off the music because I didn't want this video to get a copyright claim. Now, if, if I actually know for certain if the music is free to use or not, um, which, if I actually know that it's free to use, then I wouldn't have an issue with it being turned on, but by default, though, I just turn it off, just like what I normally do. Because if it sounds like um, an instrumental, then I would probably assume that it's, it's um, ad-supported. So for precautionary measures, I just turn the music off. You know, I think this, um, this part, I can, I have no issue using it in my levels. Except the difference is it's going to be a lot harder. <laughs> it's going to have, like, a lot of arch vials in it. Like, make a room that's, like, similar to this, but use, like, different textures. But it's going to be, like, more difficult. It, it'll be, like, Zachary Stevens hard. If you don't know who Zachary Stevens is, he's the one that um, has a Doom World Elias Rivix Soul Sphere. You fucker. Someone's gonna pay for this. Looks like my armor's fading away. It's not good. Stop hitting me. All of you are dead. Bad news for you.
that's what you sound like. That little tomato over there sounds like a... <laughs> Alright. And what's this supposed to be? Okay, it's a conveyor belt. Alright. Next stage up. Oh, and there's a megasphere. So, let's see here. There's nothing in this room, so... Let's get out. Ah! No! Okay, large files need to die. got some bad news for you guys. You guys are going to be dead. All of you in this room, all of you will be dead. It's more like a field, but whatever. Just like back when I, um, back in one of my, um, back when I did like level three from gridlock, when I called a hallway, like a, a tunnel, like, I nicknamed it, uh, um, a technology tunnel, because it's got, like, walls and other stuff that you would see in a spaceship. Or in a, in a base. Something that's, like, space-driven, don't you think? And I got an energy cell pack. Just wasted it away. Love to do two rockets on this map, but... I'm not wasting my life. Because I'll probably die when two rockets hit me. I may survive one, but two rockets... No, 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 no. I mean, sometimes I'll survive two rockets. Like back when I did uh, level 35 from Slaughterfest 2012. The level that's by Chris Balk. Yeah. And I know some of you, um, this is like a while back, this isn't like recent, I know some of you, you know, suggest that I, um, do a level for, a, um, like design a level for a, um, a, a Doom World mega project or something like that, um, and which, I mean, I, I wouldn't have an issue doing it if, like, if we're allowed to use, like, the, um, texture packs. I mean, I'd rather make levels that use texture packs like the Community Chest 4, the Slaughter Fest, etc. I'd rather be using that stuff in my levels, just like what I normally do. And that's just how I do it, because I think the levels look more beautiful when they're like that. I have to say, this level reminds me of, um, reminds me of level 27 from, uh, Slaughterfest 3, the one, well, in, in Beta C version. The reason why I say Beta C version is because, you know, when new versions are out, I mean, some levels may end up getting removed from the project for whatever reason. So that's why I say, at least in Beta C, that's what this level reminds me of, like, Beta C of Slaughterfest 3. Which I would love to actually make my own level for a Slaughterfest project, like, with, um, a variety of texture packs. Especially, like, Oku Plock size maps. Love to actually make those for, uh, a community project. Make, make a level that has, like, 20,000 enemies or something like that and takes, like, seven hours to beat. I would love to make one. I would love to make those and put them in a community project. I think that would be awesome. Of course, the only downside is the um, the frame rate, but it's whatever. Okay, so do we got any more power-ups left? 
because I see a lot of wooden crosses around here. And oh, what do we got here? Get rid of the lost souls. This level is abundant on resources, which is a good thing. I'm glad because, you know, at least the levels, it makes the level, you know, less frustrating, right? Because, I mean, I've played levels where it's like you don't got enough resources to um, make it through. Like, you could get through the level, but you're not going to be able to kill all the enemies, which is why I end up getting less than perfect scores for the kills. And what do you guys think you're doing? Yeah. I wonder if anyone here, um, anyone who's watching this video, um, I wonder if any of you have tried sesame chicken. That stuff is really good. I mean, I'm sure that the Chinese restaurant, if you see one that's near your place you know you can go there and order some sesame chicken with some fried rice and you can order like a soda to go with it and to me that sounds like a perfect meal and you need to get the fuck out of here I know I like to be obnoxious in my um, commentaries just to let you guys know it's how I am, just like the other people out there on YouTube, don't you think? Ah! You fucker. Oh shit, okay. I was happy that it didn't hit me. You fucker. Okay, stop firing rockets at me, seriously. Fine, I'm just gonna get a mega sphere. How about that? Yeah, I love this sound effect too. The ancient alien, the one that's from uh, Ancient Aliens, which I think the person who designed the lot. Uh, I'm sure there are many authors that contributed to that project. I'm sure the sound came from another resource. So, nope. Stop throwing fireballs at me. So I got this BFG with me there. I have it. I, I can just blast you all with it. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, did I... Um, did I ever tell you guys that... Like, when your YouTube channel blows up, it's like a television program? You know, where you get popular for a while and then people get sick of it. It's just how it is. And it happens when it comes to doing any form of entertainment. I should probably do a discussion video about that. I think that's a good topic to discuss. And, and let people know that, you know... Yeah. Oh, shit! Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm glad I'm okay. Okay, you know what? All of you need to die. Do two rocket challenge here, but I'm not gonna do it. Fuck that, I don't wanna risk my life. I know I said that earlier in this playthrough, but... Um, this brown tomato needs to die. The rotten tomato is what it is. Well, I got some bad news for you guys. You're dead. Yeah, I know. I've been repeating that like 50 billion times. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Bad news for you. So what do we got? Alright, I'm gonna use a, a double... You know, I think it's... Well, since there's plenty of cell charge packs around here, I'll just use my BFG. That's how I'm gonna go about doing my business, don't you think? Okay, so grab a soul sphere, even though I don't really need it because my health is already maxed out. Uh, let's see here. Um, just checking to see if there's any more, um, if there are any more power-ups left over. What's this supposed to... Okay, this little thing here doesn't do anything. And I see a bunch of uh, lava crosses that are upside down. Yeah, I guess it's very common 
in um, in uh, modern Doom levels. So what do we? Okay, so there's none left. I mean, er everyone's dead, so it's not going to affect me that much. But let's see here. In this part, you gotta be careful because you don't want to. I'm gonna assume that if you um, fall into the black, you're dead. You know, once you fall in, you can't get back out. I'm gonna assume that's what's gonna happen. So I have to stay on the stay on the marble uh, flat here. I guess this, um, the sound effect came from the, uh, one of the Brutal Doom files. Alright, so what do we got? Ah! Oh, shit. I'm telling you, these guys are, well, I mean, it's not that hard, but... Oh, by the way, the um, the orange teleporter just takes you back, so I'm not going to go to the orange one. I'm going to go to the green one. Just follow the candle and you'll be in good shape. Like that. Uh-oh. So what am I seeing here? So yeah, I'm on this pyramid full of pinkies here. Pyramid infested with pinkies. The pinky pyramid. You know why I can I can make one in my levels and and um, and put like four thousand of them. Like make one that's significantly larger than the one in this map. As long as it doesn't cause any issue with frame rate. Okay. This is fun. I'm not cleaning up the pinkies, though, let me tell you that much. I am not cleaning this mess up. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I say let's see here all the time. It's used in my everyday speech, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Bad news for you. Okay. This green pyramid. Oh, and I also see an upside-down pyramid on top of this one, except it's floating above it. So... No, I am not jumping off this uh, pyramid here. Go away. So how many monsters we got left? Okay, so we got like 330 monsters left over. Um, this level, we're almost to the end of the map here, so, alright, let's move. And then there's this whole, this blood infested area that I am not gonna, don't want to fall off this bridge here. Um, grab a Megasphere, which I don't really need, but I'll grab it anyways, just because it counts towards your score for the, um, for the intermission. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I'm sure the demonologist would love to hear my voice. Like, like play through his levels while I'm doing like a commentary. Okay.
You know, this part reminds me of like at the end of um, level 28 from Slaughterfest 2011, where you fire your uh, pink lemonade gun like at the Caco Demons. That's what this reminds me of. The only thing that's different is in, in this one, it's like you got abundant supply of ammunition and other resources out there. But you don't get a pink lemonade gun though. The pink lemonade cell gun. Now, if this weapon were to actually exist in real life, I mean, a bunch of people would probably be accidentally killing each other with it. So it's like, yeah, let's not invent this. But it could be used when, you know, in the next world war, if it does ever happen. Like when there's, like, lots of destruction going on. So. Alright, so we got... 18 monsters left over. And a level's called Despair. Yeah, I already saw it. I guess the reason why um, Demonologist put the Roman numeral in, in the title patch is because I guess it's to let the players know what map number it is. Even though you could actually see it at the bottom of the um, auto map screen here, it tells you what map number it is without even putting the Roman numeral in, in the title patch of the level. It's just how it is. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. And we got this big red marble bridge here. Okay, well, th this is the last room, so just gonna have to keep going. Just waste away a couple rockets. Okay, so how many monsters we got left? Uh, let's see here. We got... I mean, we got... Says, according to Automap, we got six monsters left. I don't know. I think there's one that I've probably missed, but oh well. Shit happens, you know. Whoa. Don't want to fall. Yeah, my hand was sweating a little bit. But I gotta keep the show going. Okay, I don't... Okay, I'm not taking any more damage. Okay. Okay, this doesn't...
got to stay on this side. Needed, right? Okay, and I don't see any more cell charge. Uh, I don't see any more of those lying around. That's okay, I'll just use my gun. Oh, gotta be careful not to get hit. I have to assume one hit is fatal, even though if I actually got hit now, I would still be alive, but I didn't want to get knocked off the um, didn't want to get knocked off the staircase. Because, I mean, usually if you fall into the pit, it's like you can't get out. I'm going to assume that's the case. So. Okay, see, just one shot and that enemy's dead. Alright, so. And then when I go to the teleporter, it's, it's just going to be a death exit, so. Anyways, um, I... Well, the bad news is the score is not perfect. Um, there's one enemy that I've probably missed, but whatever. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay, so, um... That's level 6 from uh, Realms of Demonology. I think that's the name of the wad. Um... I mean, it's, it's a wad that's by Demonologist. Um, got through level 6 from his wad. Uh, and to me, I think level 6 is actually pretty easy for me. I mean, you know, because you got a lot of resources and, and, and you can easily get through the level with no issue. So, yeah, anyways, um, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this episode, be sure you hit the like button. If you like to see more of my activities, be sure you subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my show, and I sincerely hope that all of you have a good one.